In traffic now, a lot of cars expected in downtown Pittsburgh today. If you are heading downtown, you might have to deal with this. The northbound lanes of I-79 near the Neville Island Bridge are going to be closed all weekend again. We do have team coverage on this project. We have our Ellen Alaquatra, who will be here in just a bit with a look at how to get around the closure. But first, Caitlin Sykes has more on the project itself. This is the third time this stretch of I-79 northbound will close. You can see traffic moving across the Neville Island Bridge right now, but starting tonight, those vehicles will be detoured. We drove I-79 north across the Neville Island Bridge Friday morning, but come Friday evening, that won't be possible. PennDOT is closing the interstate at the coriopolis McKees Rocks interchange for another weekend of bridge work. We're actually going to be disassembling some of the primary steel members that support the roadway, so to do that we can't have traffic on it. And then some of the, the deck work that we're going to be doing up on top, it's just not safe to do it. There's no safe way with the ramps intersecting to do it with the with the lanes open. PennDOT crews have been working on a lengthy project, one that's already required two closures along the bridge. This weekend, more of that same repair work will take place. We're going to be sealing cracks on the deck with a, with a, it's called a methamethacrylate uh, deck sealer. We're going to be doing some painting on the arch uh, and then some, some joints, uh, some of the expansion joints are going to get replaced. This project is topping $43 million to complete, but PennDOT officials say the 50 year old bridge needs those improvements. They say police will help direct traffic during peak travel times, but delays should be expected. The detour route has taken about 20 minutes at the peak times. Uh, I think it's, it helps a lot that folks that know about this as, as they're coming up 79 northbound, if they're aware of it, we're recommending that they get off on the parkways. There will be another closure of the northbound lanes this year. Next year, the southbound lanes will close four times. The entire project should be done by the summer of 2023. Reporting on Neville Island, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. There's a lot happening this weekend. Pitt is at home, Pittsburgh Steelers are at home, and of course we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day in the city tomorrow. So if you use the Neville Island Bridge southbound, you'll be okay. Northbound is where you have a problem because of that full closure going into place tonight at 9 o'clock. You can go ahead and avoid the detour. If your route allows you, take the Parkway West onto 279. If not, here's the posted detour. You're going to go ahead and take the Coriopolis McKees Rocks exit, exit 74 before that final bend on the S curve leading up to the bridge. Once you're off the exit and you get to that T, you're going to go ahead and turn left uh, toward Coriopolis, 51 northbound. Go through Coriopolis, through the town, stay in the left-hand lane and follow that 265 Swickley. Once you're at that point, go ahead and make the right turn onto Swickley Bridge, go right across. Once you're there, the car dealership's on the corner, make a right onto 65 southbound. Go ahead and follow 65 southbound all the way through Swickley, basically back to the Neville Island Bridge but you're going to pass underneath of it. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to have to take the left hand ramp to 79 toward Erie, Washington. Then you're going to stay right toward 79. Once you get to that intersection, don't continue straight. You're going to make a left onto Killbuck Street. Continue on Killbuck Street for just a little bit, and then you're going to take the right hand ramp back on to 79 North. So it is quite a long detour. Give yourself some extra time and those lanes will be open by five o'clock in the morning on Monday. I'm Elena LaQuatro for Pittsburgh's Action Trap.